Hello, hello, this is Elizabeth Griffin, the Black Romance Writer, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and do so, and definitely continue to share my content with others. I have a catalog of ebooks and audiobooks. I'm sure there's something there that you will enjoy. Definitely check me out and spread the word. I'm also on Kindle Vella's episodic platform for fiction writing, and I'm having an amazing time there. So you can also look at my work there. Today, I want to talk about stereotypes. Lately, I have been binge watching series on Hulu and on Netflix, and I have encountered several stereotypes, and I found them offensive, and I found them troublesome and disturbing. So that led me to question whether or not stereotypes have a place in fiction writing or in storytelling. So I'm formulating my opinion and I'm coming up with my own beliefs, but I wanted to find out what other people thought, whether you thought um, it is appropriate to have stereotypes, whether you think um, it can add to your story, uh, do you think they're valid, do you think they invalidate people, uh, races of people, um, what, what are your feelings and what are your beliefs? So for those of you who may need a refresher on what a stereotype is, I went to my notepad and I looked it up. So it says, a stereotype is a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person or thing. So that is one definition that I came across, but I love looking at Wikipedia. I know it is not a website that you can use to do research on. But if you want general facts or general information, uh, you can go to that particular website. And I do it from time to time. It'll give me a simplified um, idea or uh, um, description of something that I may be investigating, whether it's science, whether it's a definition. And in this case, uh, we're talking about stereotypes. So I wanted to see what Wikipedia had to say on the subject. And it says, in social psychology, a stereotype is a generalized belief about a particular category of people. It is an expectation that people might have about every person of a particular group. The type of expectation can vary. It can be, for example, an expectation about the group's personality, preference, appearance, or ability. Stereotypes are sometimes overgeneralized, inaccurate, and resistant to new information, but can sometimes be accurate. Over the years, I have come across a lot of stereotypes. I've come across uh, stereotypes that categorize certain people as being lazy, or other people as being uh, super athletic, or certain people as being um, generically uh, unattractive or uh, people that are uh, super intelligent. Uh, there are so many stereotypes out there and they can fall in the realm of negative uh, descriptions and depictions of people or positive descriptions and depictions of people. But I found in watching uh, several television series, because I've been binge watching lately, that the stereotypes that I've come across have been very negative. Um, I'll give you some examples. Uh, I've seen one stereotype of the hood chick, the black hood girl that is just super tough and super bad. And, and uh, she just has this, this, this urban language that is just so over dramatized that you find it cringeworthy when you listen to it. I've also seen the menacing uh black man that uh will will he'll kill you in a minute. He'll rob you, he'll destroy you, he'll do all kinds of treacherous things to you. And I'm thinking, mm, that's over the top. Isn't that a bit much? Then I've seen the super intellectual uh, woman that is never wrong. She doesn't lose an argument. She's always on point. And uh, after a while, when you are uh, overwhelmed with so many extreme uh, descriptions about people, you start to question, do they have a place in fiction writing? 
or in storytelling. And I'm saying this from my perspective. And as I said, I'd like to hear what you have to say on the subject. But after a while, I, I started to find the the stereotypes disturbing. And I started to question, is there a way to take a stereotype and to to give flesh to that stereotype, to, to give dimension to that stereotype so that it isn't offensive and that maybe there are elements of truth in, in, um, in describing a, a particular character or a particular person. In doing a little brief research on this subject, I came across uh, categories of stereotypes. And they are cultural stereotypes, social stereotypes, racial stereotypes, gender stereotypes, and religious stereotypes. I'm sure that there are more out there, but I found it interesting that um, this particular website that I'm looking at mentioned those stereotypes. And as I said, they also mentioned that they can be positive or they can be negative in nature. There are some stereotypes that promote one group of people as better than another, or one group of people being ignorant and rude, and another group of people being polite and social and graceful. Uh, there are stereotypes about education. Some people are more educated than others. Uh, some people are uh, are unintelligent and cannot be educated. There are uh, stereotypes about people being violent or more violent than other people. Uh, there are stereotypes about weight. Uh, there are stereotypes about um, eating habits. Uh, there's stereotypes about people that are gorgeous and good looking as opposed to people that are unattractive and ugly. Uh, there are stereotypes about people being talented. So, as I said, I wanted to explore this topic and to to question whether or not, as I said, it has a place in writing and in fiction telling. So, um... If you know of any stereotypes uh, that you find troublesome, uh, please leave a comment and let me know what they are. Uh, if you can add uh, context to what I'm saying and talking about or give me examples of stereotypes that you've encountered, I definitely would love to hear from you. And I would love to read about those uh, comments. And if you can mention particular books that you've read or series or television shows that you have watched, uh, if you want to share some of the stereotypes that you've seen uh, in those stories, uh, definitely share it with all of us. My position on stereotypes in fiction is uh, two part. One, I feel that if I find it necessary to introduce a character that is stereotypical in some way, I would like to either balance that stereotype out with a, a, a opposite character or a foil character, a character that is mirroring this person, but on a different perspective, uh, from a different perspective, or I would like to flush that character out and show that, okay, there is a stereotype there. However, look at all these other attributes and these other things that this character has. So if I do decide to use a stereotypical character, I want them to be dimensional. I want you to understand the stereotype that's presented. And I want you to be introduced to an interesting character that can teach you something and can take you on a journey. I don't want to use a stereotypical character just for the sake of, um, of generalizing a group of people or op oversimplifying a, a, um, a group of people or just uh, putting them in a negative light or even putting them in a positive light. I want to have characters that are well-rounded, and I think that you can take a stereotype and you can expand on it and you can give relevancy to, to what you're presenting in your storytelling and give that character a uh, dimension and depth. So it may not be something easy to do, but I think... Uh, if you decide to play with stereotypes, be careful 
because you don't want to offend the viewer and you don't want to perpetrate uh, stereotypes that are already out there. Um, I always feel that in writing, give your reader something new, something different, something original. And I think in dealing with stereotypes, you can do that. Or you can play against a stereotype that you know exists. Um, like suppose um, there's a stereotype that, and I'm just winging it here, that uh, all uh, tall men are athletic and should play basketball. And you may have one that uh, is tall and it uh, appears to be athletic, but he does not or cannot play basketball. He is not athletically inclined. However, this particular person can be um, intellectually uh, um, gifted. So I'm saying you can um, you can also surprise your reader by having them assume a certain stereotype about a character. And then through your writing, you reveal another dimension or another aspect of that character. So as I said, in, in looking at these different series and in watching these stereotypes, uh, as I said, it was disturbing. And I also found that it was not only the people that were stereotypical, the locations that I saw, like the projects, the ghetto, the, you know, the bad neighborhood. Uh, it was, it was crazy just watching all of this, uh, stereotypical settings or scenes or characters, even the names. I'm getting excited about this. Even some of the names of the characters were so predictable and stereotypical and you were you would just get offended after a while and then at some point you find yourself even though you shouldn't laugh you're like this is this is too much <laughs> I have to laugh at this this is crazy so um I just wanted to share my feelings and my views and I learned a lot through watching some of these series I learned what not to do I learned to be careful in my writing and to be careful in the picking of characters names and in the settings and um overall I enjoyed the series that I watched I learned a lot from them as I said I don't want to mention the particular series because I don't want to to bias someone against watching these shows because I found them entertaining I found them riveting and I also found them <laughs> uh entertaining and intriguing and uh, I learned a lot through watching them so as always thank you for joining my platform I'm wishing you love peace joy and happiness until next time <laughs> bye-bye